Well, Madam President, what a total pleasure to uh, welcome you again to the Blavatnik School of Government. We're huge admirers of your public service. Thank you very much, uh, Dean Woods, and it's a pleasure always uh, to be with you, to be with uh, your campus and within the environment of uh, your students here. You know, 15 years ago, your country was at war, and you've managed to rebuild a, a political system, a, an extraordinary police force that's trusted by your people. Tell us about how you rebuild trust with your people. Um, yes, you're right. Uh, Fifteen years ago, uh, in Kosovo, was ended uh, a terrible war that has left uh, a lot of consequences uh, for our people and uh, our country uh, in order to recoup it. And for 15 years in the role, we are going through the continuous process of the uh, transition and transformation. And uh, if I take it in the role that the Kosovo was going through the three major uh, stages, uh, was going from the war towards the peace, uh, from the dictatorship towards the uh, democracy, and from the state-owned economy towards the free market uh, economy. Uh, and uh, during these 15 years, as you already said, uh, Kosovo has uh, built the Kosovo Police uh, Service. Uh, that time, 15 years ago, when it was uh, established, was called Kosovo Police Service. And uh, after the declaration of the independence of Kosovo, it was uh, uh, renamed the uh, Kosovo uh, Police, an organization which was built uh, from uh, scratch or from zero on the democratic uh, uh, or the most advanced uh, democratic standards of the uh, policing uh, of today. The organization which was 15 years ago uh, more viewed by the people and has been used by the state at that time as the tool of the uh, repression and fear and uh, torture and brutality towards the citizens uh, coming towards the organization which was built uh, totally from uh, zero uh, going towards uh, the service towards the citizens and protecting uh, uh, their lives and their uh, uh, property and uh, defending their uh, liberties uh, 15 years ago uh, for 15 years in the role uh, Kosovo police continues to be one of the most trusted institutions uh, uh, within the Republic uh, of uh, Kosovo. Uh, that uh, level of the trust has been gained through the uh, tremendous work by all men and women that has served to our uh, organization from uh, day one. Uh, but uh, the trust is something that can be gained with a professionalism and with a continuous work and the efforts. Uh, uh, but the trust is the process that has continuously to be able to invest in order to maintain and in order to increase at that level uh, because Kosovo is the country which is uh, very multi-ethnic uh, uh, where uh, we consider that is a, uh, one of the largest treasure that we have as the uh, country for the decades in the role uh, and uh, being able to build that same level of the trust between all the community groups living in our country has been very uh, remarkable uh, but that effort continues within the organization. Because there are people all around the world who wish that their country had a better police force. You know, the students in our school who want to lead their country in the future. What would your advice be to them about where to start? Um, there is a different... Uh uh, ways in different country. Uh, there is a no uh, copy-paste system that can be uh, effective from one country to other country. Uh, Kosovo had a great opportunity because it was able uh, to uh, gain the experience and expertise uh, uh, through the different international uh, organization or the missions which were uh, present in Kosovo. For example, the United Nations mission in Kosovo and the current uh, EULEX uh, mission, which is the EU uh, law enforcement mission in uh, Kosovo, which we were able to uh, gain from the best experience and the best expertise uh, in order to translate and to transform that into the uh, needs of the Kosovo and for the uh, Kosovo uh, citizens. Uh, but is the process that cannot be done uh, solely by uh, an institution or solely by uh, the government. Is the process that has to be 
done in the uh, in the close partnership uh, between uh, the uh, uh, governmental institution and between the people and between the citizens. So as soon as that uh, you include the citizens from the beginning of the process, uh, you make them a part of that. You make them to believe into that process, and you make them that they feel that they have a share into that process. And when they have a share into that process, they trust and they believe more towards that process. Mm -hmm. And so these are the, uh, uh, the lessons that we have learned as the country moving into the direction of gaining and sustaining the trust of our citizens. And I wonder if you have a message for the many you know, brilliant people around the world who want to serve their, their country, they want to serve the public, but they, they worry that they won't be able to make a difference. You've made an extraordinary difference in your country and I wonder if you have a message for them. Um, I can speak from my own example that uh, each and every individual in the society uh, no matter in which country they belong, no matter of the uh, uh, background of that country, of that uh, uh, society, uh, he or she uh, are an added value uh, within that society and within that uh, environment. Uh, with the global challenges that we are facing uh, at the moment, it is very crucial uh, that uh, uh, each and every one uh, of us as the citizens, first of all, and then and being in different uh, positions, uh, to orient it in uh, serving to our countries, to serving our citizens, and uh, being able to identify what is, first of all, from your perspective, important to install it within one system, no matter if you are being in the public service or you're being in uh, within uh, the security or whatever uh, uh, profile. Uh, but uh, each of the person can bring so much of the insight that can be contributed to the progress of that uh, institution and uh, definitely uh, by bringing that insight you will bring uh, more of the trust towards the, uh, uh, the citizens within the organization but for towards the entire system. Thank you so much. We are delighted to have you back as a great example of public service for all those that are working on government and wanting to serve governments around the world. Uh, you welcome, uh, Dean Woods, and uh, I come uh, from uh, a different profile. I am of the legal background, and uh, uh, back in 15 years ago, uh, I joined to uh, Kosovo Police uh, for one purpose of making change. And that change I've seen every year, and I see continuously 15 years uh, after. I started with the purpose of changing uh, organization which was uh, oriented of the organization being feared of or being afraid of towards the organization which was serving to the people and serving towards the citizens and being one of the most trusted institutions. And I also went for another change of incorporating the gender element into that which was totally male dominated uh, uh, institution and organization about uh, uh, decades ago and uh, uh, multicultural and multi-inclusiveness is something that brings into the surveys the success. So I wish you best of luck to you and to the rest of the uh, uh, college here. Thank you so much. You're welcome.